Well, Cuphead and his pal mug man, they like to roll the dice. By chance they came upon a devil's game, and gosh, they paid the price. Paid the price. And now they're fighting for their lives on a mission fraught with dread. And if they proceed but don't succeed, well, the devil will take their heads. What's up, everybody? I'm Zucobius. Brand new series, brand new game, Cuphead. Oh man, you are in for a treat. If you are a if you're a fan of vintage cartoons like Popeye, Betty Boop, Looney Tunes, you name it, uh, you're gonna love this game. Uh, I don't know if you'll love playing it as much because this game is uh, this game is quite challenging. That made this game uh, very similar to Contra. And if you're a, if you know anything about Contra, you know that it's uh, it could be uh, difficult for beginners. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get started. So we got some story to go through. And you will love the art style of this. Cuphead, don't deal with the devil, produced by Moldenhauer. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise elder Kettle. One day the two boys wandered far from home and despite the elder Kettle's many warnings ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside Cuphead and Bugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours. The devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Bugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now how about those souls? The brothers pleaded for their very lives. The, the, there must be a way, to, another way to uh, re repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, but please, Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going. The devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of these souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug! Panted, panted Cuphead. We we'll have to find the elder cattle. He'll know what to do. And there you go. That is the story so far to Cuphead. Just look at this. What a fine pickle you boys got yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you can't, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends, quote unquote, won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they don't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. 
Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. All right, so the tutorial. I mean, I know I know how to play the game already, but just look at this. The tutorial. Duck, hold down the crouch, jump. Just look how beautiful this game looks. And it, it basically takes you through the controls. It, pl it plays. It plays like Contra. I mean, if you if you know Contra, you pretty much know what to do. Oh yeah, there's also coins in the tutorial level, so you you really want to stock up on coins because they're good for you. And like I said, this game is very challenging. So if if Contra style really isn't the thing for you, then you, my friend, you, my friend, have come to the right place. If you like what you see, please subscribe, please like, please comment. There's a lot more coming your way. Oh wait, I need to talk to this guy. He gives you... Hey fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Sweet! Three gold coins! I got four coins. I might be able to grab something. I'll talk to Pork Rind over here. Hello, Pork Rind. Oh, yes. I do like that. Uh, so, it, you got all these different power ups you can use. Uh, Smoke Bombs is one of my favorites. Spreads is one of my favorites. Uh, Chaser is one of my favorites. And there's, all, there's a whole bunch of different little gadgets you can grab from. This little shop. You, I'll just I'll get this one for now. And when you, you buy one, it just the next one plops down in its place. See you later, pork rind. I'll be back. And he's just telling you 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 gotta equip your stuff before you can use them. So yeah, there's your equipment contract list. And charm, super, we'll, we'll go through all that later. Let's get started with the running gun. One thing I forgot to mention about this game, this game is 90% boss battles. Uh, this this level here is a rarity. Uh, there's not many running gun levels. Uh, there, there are a lot of fun. It breaks the monotony a little bit. Not that there's a lot of monotony in this game, because you're fighting all these, all these bosses, all these different uh, boss mechanics. And... Oh! Oh, there goes my perfect score. So when you die, it actually, no matter where you're at, it actually tells you how far you've come along in the level or or in the boss battle. Uh, all boss battles are phased. So you'll see these little uh, flagpoles in the middle of the screen there. And it'll, tell, it'll, it'll tell you how far you got. You're up. A little rusty, but I have played through this game before, so it's uh, I will be making parts of this game look easy. It is not an easy game. Don't let me fool you. If you've never played this game, you will struggle a little bit. If you are, if you're the controller throwing type, you probably want to. Steer clear of this one. Just 
especially toward the end of the game. It's really, uh, really challenging. But it's but it is a it is the right kind of hard. It is. Oh, I I really don't want to say it's hard. I just want to say it is challenging, but not not hard where you you're struggling with the controls. The controls are like are fine. You, you don't have any struggle with with the controller. And I just beat the first uh, run gun stage. Let's see how I did. Nice. I did, I did pretty well. Uh, this reminds me of like when, the, when like Looney Tunes or whatever is uh, ending. Like, oh, that's all, folks. That's kind of that's kind of what this looks like. So we'll just uh, proceed onward. Uh, so I got all five of the coins. So we're gonna go back to see Pork Rind. Uh, now I'm gonna get the spread shot. So the spread shot is uh, it's like the spread gun from Contra, but it's really short range. It's like a, it's like a it's like it's like a shotgun blast. Really good up close, but really bad. Uh, from far away. So I'm gonna put my chaser as my main weapon. And my secondary weapon is gonna be the spread shot. Uh, pea shooter. That's that. That's like basically your basic. Uh, that's your basic shot. It's. It ain't good. It ain't bad. Uh, let's start here. Goopy Legrand in Ruse of an Ooze, and you got two difficulties here. Go simple and regular. I've not even touched simple because. No, but if that if that's more your if that's more your gig, then uh, by all means go for it. This okay, this guy. So the tracer is not as powerful as the uh, is it's not as powerful as the pea shooter, but uh, it, it, as you can see, it oh damn wrong. Well, Wrong face, <laughs> but it, uh, but it homes in on your enemy. It's ah oh, damn, it's really good for like when you're dodging shit. And there's your little my little uh, uh, spread shot, and I just died. See see the little see the little flag post right there. Uh, I'm about I got about halfway dead, so just. Just dust off, try again. You know, no, no loading. You don't have to wait a million years for it to load. You just, you just back at it. And the game will piss you off just enough to make you keep going. It's that kind of difficult. You'll get really close, and then it'll get you. <laughs> and then, oh, just one more try, one more try, and I got him. And then you don't come anywhere close anytime soon. Trolls are just seamless. Oh yeah! Right, this part's pretty, uh, pretty easy here. Just watch out for his little slam attack. What I like to do is just go back and forth and, and then they'll home in, and then we'll just finish them off. Or not, son of a bitch! <laughs> I got cocky there. Oh man, see, look, see, look at that right there. That's the, that's the beauty of the game. Oh, and, he, and, he, and, he, and they taunt you every, every phase says something different. I forgot to stop show that to you. Don't worry, I'll die again at some point. Ow! Oh damn!
a brawl is surely brewing. And begin. There's another power up I really like having. And it's the uh, smoke bomb. Instead of do, instead of you know, when you're instead of doing your dash by flying, you uh, you kind of teleport a little bit. So you're you're, you're invincible for a, for a second. And that's the easy dodge right there. Just uh. Uh, let's do the same thing we did last time with, with, uh... Less, uh... Death. Uh, I should have it this time. Hey, me, baby. I didn't do too great there. Uh, C minus, ew, ew, that's nasty. And you get this little contract, and the goal is to get all the contracts, and then you can move on to the next area. Let's go here next. Uh, the root pack in Botanic Panic. Like, satan like satanic panic, but with plants. Here's a real high class bout. Oh, yeah, this guy. Okay, anything pink you want to try to parry. So you get uh, super energy. Get it? He's a he, he, he's an onion, so he cries. So you just use that to kind of. Throws little carrot missiles at you. You just home in with them with your chaser, and easy peasy. Kind of move around, dodge his uh, laser beams, and he should go down here in a moment. Hey, babe. Easy, easy does it. I used to, re I, I used to uh, lead a raid team, so I know you know about phases and boss battles. I'm pretty good at figuring out bosses. If only I use more super meter. <laughs> That's okay. We're not. We're. I'm not trying to be uh, perfect at this game. I'm just. Uh, we're just. just we're very kick back, relax, and go through it. Root pack is down. Now I think there's some. Uh, how about this guy? Harumph! I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say, harumph. So look around for coins on the map stage. I don't know where any of them are at. It's been a long, long time since I actually went through the game. Ribbian Croaks, Clip and Clip Joint Calamity. That is a fun one. A great 
I remember watching this at the rec room uh, back when this game first came out. Oh! I'm trying to be awesome and parry the pink stuff. for this one. So yeah, if you're new to this game, Chaser is the first thing you should look into getting. And I do believe these, uh, both of these fellas have this, uh, Shared health bar. Ah, I didn't. I couldn't remember what the what to do there. But hey, I got, I got to final phase. You went for broke, and now you're croaked. Ha 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 ha. Just dust off, try it again. Now there is a TV show. of Cuphead that came out on Netflix. I don't think it did very well though because I remember seeing the trailer for it and it came out and then it was on the screensaver and it's not on the screensaver anymore. So I, I guess it didn't do very well. I guess if you really want to watch an old cartoon, you can just go watch an old cartoon. You can go watch Popeye, you can go watch uh, whatever you want. Uh, the main thing about this is it, it's a game. You know, I, you're, it's like you're playing a cartoon. And, uh, Oh, here we go. And only by playing it, but uh, do you get the get the right feel for it? Ah. So yeah, the slot machine's got different. Oh man, almost got a perfect score there. So these are different phases of this. And that's what makes the chaser such a good weapon. You can just focus on dodging all the, the projectiles. And you only have to take your hand off the attack button. You should be going down here any moment. time too. I, you know, I had to had, had the intro and everything too, so I might be able to get through the first third of the game in one one uh, sitting. We'll see though. C plus, uh, that's not great, but Just to find. 
Okay, can I get to... Yes, I can. Talk to the goldfish. Be gone, spirits! Oh, wait, you're real. I was about to hit you with an old parry move. That's how you deal with ghosts around here. Only a nitwit tries shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not being places, would you mind, would you fellas mind moving on? You're spooking the fish. <laughs> goldfish going fishing. Fishing for her own people. That's great. Here comes a spooky bunch. Now go! So we got a little ghost coming up here. You, you die automatically if the uh, any of the ghosts hit you. Hit hit the uh, they don't hit you, but they hit the uh, urn or the chalice or the cup. circles and move faster and get get more uh, get more fancy on you. Woohoo I knew if I rooted around here I could find something special for you. But I didn't know I'd get trapped again. Thanks for saving me a second time. I don't remember saving you the first time. Take this magical super art and I'll see if I can find you another. Cool. Woohoo! Dear me, you mustn't forget that magical super arts have to be equipped in the menu before use. So yeah, I got a little super move and it's really uh it's really neat. Really cool. Very uh, super Street Fighter. If you ever play that, basically you fill your super meter up all the way, and uh, you can do a very powerful move. All right. What's that? You two want to fly in a plane like I do? Ha! You're not sitting in my cockpit till you study those blueprints. All right, so this particular level, you got to. Uh, and again, look how beautiful it is. So it's basically the same idea, but you're moving uh, up and down, left and right, in a little airplane. So there you go. Hildeberg and Threatening Zeppelin. I hope the Zeppelin ain't made of lead. A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. This is a mini phase fight here. Went up too hard. She can kill you with your words, with her words. Ah, shit. I like to let the guys shoot at me a little bit so I can get some parry. 
There was a parry power. Ah, damn. I got greedy there. Oh, damn, I got greedy again. Shit. I might not make it this time. That's okay. I don't know where that thing's starting at, so a real I guess you don't. I guess there you don't want to move around as much. Let's see if you get some pink. There we go. Don't get greedy this time. Get greedy. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, that that that, that wasn't my fault. That, that that was by accident. I guess I guess the other one was too. I think it's just because you're. I'm not used to the plane. Uh, did very well, uh, except for the hit points. A minus, not bad. for a little bit more. See if I can beat this one before we uh, end the video. You're up. Another run and gun. Again, you don't see a lot of these. Alright, we got Woody Woodpecker. And remember, you can do a run and gun. You want to get your coins. That one you, you need to parry. But if you, you if you miss the parry, you should be able. Oh damn! Got it. You, you can you can zip up there and grab it, but it's a, little, it's a lot easier if you uh, parry. because the uh, chaser doesn't always want to hit everything. Mm 
Ah, damn. Another coin. The coins are usually easy to spot and find. platform, son of a bitch. I'm so close. I'm so close. You're up. Get up, try again. That's how the zoop does it. smoke bomb already. The only bad thing about having a smoke bomb here. Oh shit. Same spot too. Here goes. That, uh, you can't you can't always see where you're going. So it'll make that section a little tricky. balls. I think you can actually go through the game without touching these little run and gun levels, but that's where you get most of your coins, and you want the coins to get your upgrades. Boom, 
Boom, baby. Yeah, <laughs> scary. They don't want to screw that up at the very end of it. And there you go. There's uh, another level done. Minus. I got all the coins. Good, 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 good. Oh, doing really good on time. I'm gonna. I'm getting kind of close to out of time, but I'm gonna make one more attempt to beat a level. I'm gonna get the smoke bomb first, and why don't we get? that next. Goodbye. I pretty much got what I want now. <laughs> I'm probably not going to change anything else now. There we go. There's at least one more fella. I don't know where he is. There we go. Cagney Carnation in Floral Fury. Do an attempt or two and, uh, for our call it quits. A brawl is surely yeah. Now go! It's not that bad. It's, it's uh, there's a lot of small stuff. You just gotta pay attention to. Like this part's kind of the worst of it. Oh damn! Okay, almost got it there. A brawl is surely brewing. Now go. So I'm gonna be greedy and get up, get up on him. I think parry that little pink dude. Oh damn! Or maybe he can't. I don't know. He looked pink. Maybe he's red. Oh hell! I'm not gonna make it this time either. I don't think. Oh no! Never say never. Sorry, I'm not talking a whole lot through this. Got just really got to concentrate here. A lot of small things. Kill that dude up top. Luckily, I can just kind of sit on the platform. So close. 
All right, this is gonna be the last attempt. A brawl is surely brewing. You're up. I, I got. I got to stop after this one. So win or lose, I'm done. Oh hell. Not looking too promising, but hey, let's keep going, keep keep moving. Oh, okay, well that's uh, gonna It's gonna have to be it. Uh, I'm, I'm out of time. Uh, but yeah, this has been fun. Uh, once I beat this level, see the little dice down there, I have to just go in there and I go to the next island. Like, like next part of the island. Uh, yep, yep. Yes, I got. I got. That's the last one. So I will do that in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm just gonna end things here. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, I am Zacobius. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, please do me a big favor. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. And give me comments. And. Uh, Thank you again for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll see you next time.